Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend so far. It is scorching hot here in the UK. Today guys, we've got a lot to get through. We're going to be telling you why Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market is super bullish ladies and gentlemen. We have a number of news articles involving Goldman Sachs, Rothschild Investment Corp, um, JP Morgan, Amazon, Apple and Binance. We're going to go into some of these. These are just reiterating factors. You know, we have big players. JP Morgan, one of the biggest investment banks in the world, are now offering crypto to not just their institutional customers, but everybody. This is huge, guys. This is a monumental step in the right direction. If they are doing this, they are very heavily work. They work very heavily, sorry, I should say, with regulators in the US. So this is a positive sign and gives us a kind of idea of where the crypto space is going. A measly $1.39 trillion, guys. This market is so insignificant and has so much room to grow that I don't want anybody on the other end of these screens to miss out, ladies and gentlemen. And saying that, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say or do in this video is financial advice, but let's get straight into it. And where I want to start with you guys is, of course, the Bitcoin chart. There is Falling wedges everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, not just in Bitcoin, across the board. Bitcoin being the one that we're paying the most attention to, as we know that Bitcoin is the driver of the driver of value in the space. It looks to me like Bitcoin has broke out. We did have a kind of uh, a bull trap here. It was a bit of a fake out. We ended up coming back. We need to watch this very closely because we're not out of the woods yet. Now, there are a number of things um, you guys know. Certainly, if I quickly switch this to a weekly time frame, we look at the RSI, we're looking for a bottoming out on there. We know it's going to bottom out higher than this point and higher than the previous one, the same way that 2017's bull market saw um, higher kind of bottoms for the RSI. Now, the one that I'm really watching is the stock RSI, guys, because you have now formed your bullish cross. This is typical of a reversal. You have come back and you've touched this level. You aren't going to go lower than this zero mark for the stock RSI. Every time you've been here, guys, it has been bought up and you have seen a recovery in Sue. That bullish cross has now been confirmed. So we are exceptionally um, bullish on what we're seeing on the charts right now. Let's switch back to the daily. Oh, sorry, that's the four hourly before we get into some of these juicy uh, news articles. Now you can see Bitcoin has indeed broken out. Now you need to hold not only this 20 EMA, this, this yellow line running through, but you need to hold this descending resistance. And what I'd quite like to see is a bit of a bit more of a run up for coming back, retesting it as support and continuing on. You guys know, and like I say, we've been making sure to continuously tell you, this is just a pullback within a bull market and could perhaps offer the biggest opportunity of this year to to enter the crypto space. How many of you guys were more than happy to buy Bitcoin up here? The price is down here and you don't want to touch it. Think about why that is. The price short term is really just a distraction. We've done plenty of analysis where we've looked at things like the Amazon stock, Apple, um, Microsoft back in the dot com boom and shown you that they had a boom and bust cycle very similar to what Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market had back in 2017. If you'd only understood what you were investing in and how it was going to change the world in a positive perhaps way, then you would have seen the value in it. And that's where we're at with Bitcoin. Now, the market is still in extreme fear. This is the fear and greed index, and it is we have been in extreme fear for a uh, quite a period of time. I personally haven't, and many people that I know have actually been never more bullish on the space during this dip. Reason being is because we look at the fundamentals more than anything. We're in Bitcoin really because of the fundamentals and what it can bring to the world. We're not, we don't quite believe Jack Dorsey, what Jack Dorsey was saying about how he thinks um, it's gonna bring world peace. Human beings don't work like that, guys. You know, I'm sure you guys have siblings. You will always fall out over something, regardless whether Bitcoin becomes the conqueror and the world reserve currency or not. So let's talk about some of these articles, guys. And the one I want to start with, and this is just really reiterating you, because whilst the retail is in extreme fear, look at what the big institutions are doing, ladies and gentlemen. Goldman Sachs settling crypto ETPs in Europe sources. The US bank prime brokerage division is offering services in crypto linked ETPs to some of its European hedge fund clients. This is huge. This article came out yesterday. Goldman Sachs prime brokerage unit is clearing and settling cryptocurrency exchange uh, traded products ETPs for some hedge fund clients in Europe, according to two sources with uh, knowledge of matter. Now, this is significant more so because 
Goldman Sachs work very closely with regulators, not just in the US, in Europe, all over the world. They would not be offering this and settling these ETPs if they thought there was going to be any kind of a regulatory backlash. That is extremely bad publicity. And ultimately, Goldman Sachs has built itself up on its name. This is the Rothschilds Investing Corp more than triple its Bitcoin exposure. Whilst everybody else is bearish, these guys are buying. Now, they're buying over the counter. So one reason you, people say, oh, well, surely we'd see the volume show up on exchanges. No, 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 guys. These guys are buying over the counter, which means that the exchange volume doesn't go up on the back of it because it's it, it's not an exchange. They don't go through exchange. They couldn't because they would end up, you know, if they had a... Um, a billion dollars as a quick explanation they wanted to put it in they would get so much for 30,000 and then they'd have to get some for 31 32 whereas if they go to uh, an over the counter exchange um, they can set the kind of price and working fees associated. They also, the institutional investment manager also increased its holdings in Grayscale Ethereum Trust by about 5%. This is absolutely huge. Um, people, like I say, extreme fear? I don't think so, guys. And also, if we look at the chart, which we've just shown you, things look very positive to me, guys. The next one I have is uh, Bitcoin about to fa Bitcoin about um, face. JP Morgan opens crypto trading to all clients. Now, they were originally offering it to the institutional clients. They're now offering it across the board, even to their retail um, clients. In an ironic twist, given CEO Jamie Dimon's well-established distrust of the industry, JP Morgan um, has reportedly become the first major bank to provide all wealth management clients with access to Bitcoin and other crypto funds. This is absolutely huge. JP Morgan's uh, $630 billion uh, wealth management division. Guys, we spoke yesterday about the fact that there is around about $900 trillion of um, money out there, the $900 trillion of value globally. Crypto is going to uh, accrue quite a bit of that. Reason being is because people are looking for yield. People are looking for a return on their investment. And right now, cryptocurrencies, I believe, and it's why we're all in crypto, ladies and gentlemen, offer the best return on your investment. That's certainly been true for myself. I own very, very few stocks, um, but largely they are outperformed by the crypto space. Uh, so this is another one, JP Morgan. Now, guys, we want to go on to Amazon is looking to hire digital currency lead. The successful candidate will have to have uh, experience in cryptocurrencies and central bank digital currencies, according to Job. Isn't this reminiscent to Apple? And remember, guys, there's rumors about Apple purchasing a certain amount of uh, a Bitcoin. We will see if this comes to fruition. It's a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen, before companies across the world uh, actually decide that they want to hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. And the reason they're going to do that, not just Bitcoin, other cryptos out there that they can perhaps stake. Bitcoin is just going to be the first of, to be adopted because it's been around for the longest. It's kind of tried and tested, if you will. Um, they're going to hold Bitcoin and other cryptos on their balance sheet for the simple reason, and, and we played that clip about why everyone should own Bitcoin a couple of uh, videos ago on this channel, because Cash, holding cash on your balance sheet just decreases. Elon Musk, even though we're not a big fan of the guy, was talking about how when he's in Europe, he has to essentially pay the bank to hold his money. There's negative interest rates over there. Guys, cash is trash, and this is why Bitcoin and the crypto space is going to win in the long run. And they are not going to get rid of it. They are just going to kind of hijack it. Um, this is also Binance, who are facing, and this is for my UK People out there who are worried about Binance, you know, the you have a number of banks, NatWest, Santander, uh, Barclays, all kind of came out and said, we're going to stop you from sending money over there, which is outrageous. They will allow you to buy um, things that are extremely bad for your health. They allow you to gamble, etc. yet they want to stop you from doing this. It just really, to me, made me a lot more bullish because they are losing the battle. And DeFi, which we rarely speak about on this channel, guys, is going to kill the banking sector. As somebody who is heavily involved in DeFi, I have so many, whether that's Aave Compound, Uniswap, um, whether that's some of the, you know, Yieldly on Algorand, whether that's any of the DeFi space that I use, I'm a lot happier with the services they provide because they give me a lot more yield. They reward me for um, having wealth, essentially, in the crypto space. And banks just give you the middle finger time and time again. Binance US is uh, eyeing an IPO, says um, Xiaoping Zhao. I don't know how you pr properly pronounce his name. I like this guy. Even though... Um, you know, one thing that I want to point out, next time you go to a McDonald's drive through or you go and you eat at a restaurant and you look down your nose, I'm not talking to the humble people out there, 
um, that watch this channel, you look down your nose at that person serving you that Big Mac or the double cheeseburger, just remember they could be the next Xiaoping Sao. This guy started off flipping burgers in McDonald's, ladies and gentlemen. He's one of the richest men in the world today. So remember that, just a little reminder out there for people who think that, um, you know, it's all right for you. We're all human beings. We're all trying to make a living. We're all trying to hustle and bustle. Crypto is going to give people that leg up, I believe. So do you really think Binance would be doing this if they thought they were going to get closed down by regulator regulators? Absolutely not. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you really in this video. The chart looks great. It does look like we've broken out. We're calling this a breakout. Um, we absolutely are calling this a breakout. We just need to make sure that we hold these levels of support. You can see on the four hourly guys, this wasn't even really uh, necessarily a, a, a breakout. It does look like we have broken out. Ultimately, you guys know my opinion, you know, the crypto space is going to recover. That's largely going to be led by Bitcoin. Take a look at the RSI and the stock RSI guys. The, the, stock, the actual RSI could probably come down a little bit lower. I will say that. But the... Um, Stock RSI guys has formed that bullish cross and looks brilliant to me. We've been accumulating Bitcoin throughout this entire dip. I've been telling, although I can't tell you guys what to do, my friends and family that, hey, look, load up on this, guys, because we are going to the moon. Crypto is the future. It's here to stay. Blockchain technology is going to have a fundamental role in the future that we are moving towards, much the same as when the internet came out. People were very skeptical, very... Um, against it, just like any kind of new technology, even even electricity. Go and look at the early electricity kind of campaigns to stop it um, back in whenever electricity was invented. I can't, I don't know that off the top of my head. Uh, I probably should. Um, people are always against new things. You know, it's it's evil. It's this. It's that. And then what they do is they come to accept it once it's kind of been tried and tested. Tested, and that's exactly what happened with the internet. That's exactly what's going to happen with blockchain. And with the internet, the stocks that came out of it did exceptionally well. With blockchain, the cryptocurrencies that come out of it are going to do absolutely fantastic. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to the realist, one of the realist. There's plenty of good crypto channels out there, crypto YouTube channels out there, because this channel is going from strength to strength, guys. We are not going to be under 100k subscribers for long. Mark my words on that. That is not me being cocky. That is me genuinely knowing the worth of this content. If you've enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment and I will see you all in the next YouTube video, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.